Hey tubers, Eddie Amy Sprocks here. I'm coming to you with a four year update on my 2010 Chevrolet Aveo. I've tried recording this video at least, uh, let's say five times. First couple times I didn't have a voice. This time my voice is somewhat here. I'm just a little congested. So I figured now's a better time than any. Um, so yeah, this is my 2010 Chevrolet Aveo LT. Yeah, LT. Uh, all in all, not in bad shape. It's running pretty good. All the headlight or all the taillights work. Let me go ahead and turn on those four ways. Let's run the car in reverse. As you can see, my reverse lights and my turn signals are both the same color because I didn't have the amber uh, lights in that size, so I'll be fixed here soon, hopefully. Car's running very well today. <sighs> very well. AC still is not working might be remedied at some point this year but I also do have someone who's interested in buying the car as they just wrecked their car so that might be another option seeing as I only drive it every couple days or every uh, every couple weeks I should say because this thing's been running on the same tanky gas yes, since October it's running very well though it's smooth no sounds coming from the engine, except for the engine sounds, you know, shut up. Uh, a couple radios sitting in the back seat, as I did have to replace the radio this week, or not week, week this year. <sighs> Let's go ahead and shift it back in the park. I put the Kenwood uh, the box back here. KMM BT 250U. Um, the original radio that was in the car, I had to jump start the car, and after I jump started the car, it didn't work right. The display came up, but it didn't respond to any pushes of the button. My seatbelt's closing in the door. So, this was a cheap but decent option. You get what I'm saying. Actually, the, it cooled off in here, but it's also cold outside, so that'd be why. Um, the car hasn't been driven in a while, so the tire pressure light's on. That happens all the time with this car, seeing as it sits in the grass. <sighs> That's better. Um, overall, the car has put on about, I think, 10,000, maybe. Well, 11,000 miles since I got it, which for the year, this is great mileage, but you know, that'll change hopefully this year, whether it gets sold or if it gets driven more, because I'd like to drive it more. So yeah, let's go ahead, open that up. I know professional, right? focus it's on its second pair of wipers the ones that were originally on the car were dry rotted to hell and fell apart one day um, headlights have been replaced one of them burned out one day and I just replaced both of them at once because it makes sense um, what else has been replaced? Someone's TV has been replaced. Yeah. One of the turn signals burned out last year, so I had to replace, I just went ahead and replaced both of them with the wrong kind, because you know, you replace one of them wrong, with the wrong kind, just replace both of them with the wrong kind. That's awesome. Um, 
deck speakers in the back. One of them is blown, so that needs to be replaced, but I have it set up in such a way that they're still turned on, but they're not as heavy bass. So, you know, that worked out. I like that, it, I do. <sighs> Battery definitely needs to be replaced this year though because if the car sits for a couple days It will Just go dead one day. It, you'll come out to the car try to start it'll go flat dead. So it's something that needs to be looked into but it's not anything that's major at this point A lot of people who ride ride bikes with no reflectors or anything like that Luckily, it's still somewhat sunny out. Not sunny, but you know what I mean. It's still somewhat light out. Tonight, as it is Christmas, I might try to live stream, depending on how I feel and everyone else feels about the whole situation. That situation, that sounds weird. But you know what I mean. The whole... I don't fucking know. What are those words? It's a word, you know? Think about a word, choose it, use it, you know? Yeah, that's about where I'm at right now. Oh, that's a tight through here. Cars running really well though. I, I'm impressed. La uh, did I do that last year or this year? I think it was last year and I think I covered it. But, oh no, that was this year. Earlier this year, I had to replace the coil pack on the car because one day I came out to start the car, took a lot of cranking, took a lot of cranking. When it finally started, it was like missing on the number three cylinder. Remove that spark plug, nothing appeared to be wrong. Like, it didn't look gummed up or anything, so tried it again. Ran well for a few seconds, then it started missing again. And then never could recover from that point so replaced the coil pack in the car for about 70 bucks and once i did that never had a problem again why don't the lights oh they're on it must be still too light out for the other ones yeah. that's concerning oh next i think i am going to do an update on the tracks over there and Maybe you combine them both into one video, or not. I'm not gonna do that. Screw that. Um, but yeah. All right, so I am home. It is six o'clock, so in about an hour, we'll log on to TeamSpeak, and uh, we are going to enjoy some encounters on GTA 5. Uh, probably blow each other up a couple times. Probably gonna kill Ozzy at least 10 times. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So there's a chance I'll be streaming, so if I am, go check that out. If not, then have a Merry Christmas, everyone, and uh, don't do anything stupid. Or do it. Probably don't, though. Generally, isn't a good idea to do anything stupid. Alright, so, like to this video, click that button, uh, comments, questions, suggestions, concerns, all that good stuff, put that down below in the comments down below. Subscribe for more videos if you like this one, you know. I upload sometimes, it's fun. Uh, and thanks for watching. Bye!